Hi guys, it's Sasha from netbooknews.com and I just entered 11.6 inch tablet paradise because uh, I think I have them all. No, there's actually one, one is missing, that's a Pioneer computer 11.6 inch, that's from Australia. But besides that, we have uh, all the 11.6 inch tablets that are available. And they are pretty much all the same because they're all based on the Pegatron platform. So the newest one, besides the Yaxo PC and the new version of the WeTab, is the Bimodo. Um, that's a Californian company also using the Packagetron platform. That means Intel Atom N450, 1 GB RAM, 32 GB or even a 64 GB SSD. So uh, let me invite you to take a look at the quickest unboxing I've ever done because there's not much in the box. There's a little quick manual over here, a quick start guide that tells you a little bit about the touch gestures. And uh, here is the Bimodo tablet. And there was a PSU. And that's about it. So let's jump right into our hands-on and um, let me tell you a little bit more about the specifications. It's an 11.6 inch, as I said, 1366 by 768 is the resolution. It's a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. Um, we have connected for the PSU, HDMI out, two USB 2.0, jack for the headset, 4-in-1 card reader and a slot for your SIM card. Over here we have a connector for the docking station. By the way, that's the docking station. And right now um, it's on sale so you can get a free docking station because normally it would cost I think $75. It just gives you a couple of more I.O. ports. So with a USB 2.0, Jackson microphone and headset and on the back side we have another two USB 2.0 Ethernet connector and a connector for your PSU. The question is... Guys, what about the viewing angle? Whoever invented this should maybe make sure that they are also shipping a tripod so I can lift it up to this level here right in front of my face because otherwise I just can't see anything. I need to sit down over here and just uh, sorry about that. Whoever was the product designer in your R&D office screwed this one up. Good idea, badly executed. Um, let's take a look at the front end because this is also a Windows 7 Home Premium tablet. Um, this is called, oh geez, I forgot the name again. Base Nova. Base Nova is uh, the front end. So what we have over here on the left side, um, these are little tabs, um, or this tab, or you can scroll down between different apps. So Cloud stands for the browser. Over here we have a Flickr account. Um, this, this is for RSS feed. Here is the picture viewer. You can't do pinch to zoom, you can just swipe through the pictures. Um, we have a video player. As you can see over here on the bottom, you can switch between the SD card and uh, your local videos. So let's take a quick look. That's a 720p video file with a shameless plug from Apple here in this corner. So 720p is no problem at all because this also sports the HD, uh, the Broadcom Crystal HD card which is going to hardware accelerate HD content. What I like about this player is the very minimal and simple front end. Right, it's all that I need. Over here we have um, volume control, brightness and yeah that's that's about it. Okay let's go back. Let me show you the music player. It's also a little bit different. What you see uh, just the CD covers, or not the, the CD covers, but the CDs itself, and you can kind of move them around the desktop. Sometimes having a little bit of problem with the touch screen. No, there you go. It's no problem at all. And you can just do a playback here. The question is, how can I create playlists? And uh, what about if I have like 1200 CDs might look a little bit uh, crowded on your desktop and I think it's kind of hard to to uh, navigate through your different titles. So what else do we have? Oh that's a little view of all the apps that, that are open but let's pause this and let's check out the browsing experience. First of all I think we should try um, YouTube playback. So that's 480p right now. 
Let's switch over to 720p. And let's see if that works. That's our hands on with the MSI Wind U135 DX LA Dodger Special Edition. So this definitely tells me that there is an issue with drivers here because um, the Crystal HD card from Broadcom should be easily capable of handling 720p playback uh, and on YouTube. So uh, how about going to our netbook news site? Oops. Okay, let's scroll down here, here's the link to our site, and let's see how fast it renders a website, that's pretty good. But um, I have one question, how can I go full screen? I just can't. I mean, you have this nice real estate, 1366 by 768 what about accelerometer? It does have one. Well, it should have one, but obviously it's just not working. So, I mean, look, look the, the, the speed and the performance of it is, 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 is fantastic. You can even do pinch to zoom. Well, that's, that's no problem at all, but why can't I do any full screen when I'm browsing the internet. It just makes no sense because then I can also get a, a 7 inch tablet. Because that's pretty much what you're getting on a 7 inch tablet. Oh, let's say 8.9. Anyways, that works as soon as it renders the whole website. It's no problem anymore in terms of performance. Uh, what else? We have settings over here. Uh, you can set up a couple of many different things. You can change the weather location. We did this to Taipei, but we're still in Fremont. I know you guys are based in Fremont, but I'm not so interested to know about the weather and time zone where Fremont is when I'm living in Taipei. And I think it would be the same with other customers all over the world. Um, besides that, we have this My Apps. There are not a, not a lot of apps in here. What you can do is just adding Windows apps to it, right? So I can just uh, go to uh, a program or application in Windows and just add a shortcut over here. Besides that, we have Facebook, Twitter, Maps, which are basically uh, leading and forwarding you to the website. Um, besides that, what I like about it is um, let me show you, let's start this uh, Microsoft Surface just to let you know that it definitely supports a pretty good multi-touch uh, multi screen. So that works out without any problem, right? Here we go. So I'm wondering why Bimodo uh, wasn't using this for their front end. And when you click over here, coming back to the Bimodo front end, yeah, well, that's about it. That's all what I can say. I mean, we know about the platform. Um, I like the idea how the front end looks like, but seriously, you really need to tweak it. I want to see full screen browser. I want to see 720p, at least 720p, uh, playback uh, on YouTube because your hardware is capable of doing this and I would like to see some more applications. So yeah, that's the first impression of the Bimodo tablet. I'm Sasha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching.